Hey there friends, today we're doing lesson 79 in the UFLI Foundation series where we will be reviewing the ARR and ORORE or R controlled vowel patterns. We're looking particularly at the sound usually made by the letter R and how it can affect vowels. So far we've learned that AR comes together to make the sound R as in arm. A R arm R. We've learned that A R can appear in the middle of words, like in bark, b r k bark, or in part, p r t part. We also learned that A R can appear at the end of words, as in far, s r far. Or in star, s t r star. Finally, we learn that ar can appear at the beginning of words, as in art, r t, or arm, r m arm. Regardless of where it is, ar will always make the sound r because that bossy r is coming in and changing the sound of the vowel. A no longer says a. Ah, Instead, A and R together say R. Then we learned about the sound OR, as in orange. We learned that the OR sound can be made by the letters OR. Just like an AR, OR has a different sound than O and R by themselves. Normally, O says A ah, and R says R, but together they make a brand new sound, OR. This is because of bossy R. Bossy R comes in and tells the vowel to change the sound that it's making. So they no longer say their original sounds, they make a brand new sound, OR. The OR OR spelling pattern can appear in the middle of words, like in fork, f OR k fork, or corn, k OR n corn. We also learn that the OR spelling pattern can appear at the beginning of words, like in orb, or b, orb. Finally, we learn that in special instances, or can also appear at the end of words, like in for, f, or for. But then we learned about another spelling pattern that more usually occurs at the end of words. O-R-E still says or, just like O-R, but we've added an additional letter E as well. This one only appears at the end of words, like in more, m, or, more, or store, s, t, or store. More often than not, if you hear the or sound at the end of a word, it's probably being spelled with o-r-e rather than o-r. So we learned about the r sound, a-r, arm, r, and the OR sound, O-R, OR, O-R-E, orange, OR. Now we're going to look at some words together. This is the word START. We see the A-R-R spelling pattern. So we would sound it out like this. S-T-R-T, START. This is the word IMPORTANT. This is a three-syllable word, im, poor, tent, important. We see the O-R or spelling pattern in the middle. And remember, when you see a big long word, don't be intimidated. Just break it into its smaller pieces and sound it out as you go. I, m, im, p, or, poor, t, and t, tant, important. So now it's your turn. What you'll see on the screen are a combination of words that use AR, OR, and ORE. It's your job to figure out which R-controlled vowel pattern we're using, what sound it makes, and the word that it makes in its position. Try to sound out the word before I do. Let's begin. Hard, H R D, hard. P, 
part. P R T part. Large. O R J large. March. M R ch march. Form. S or m form. More. M or more. Story S -t or E story before B E S or before. Market. M R K E T. Market. Morning. M or N ing morning. Now let's do a bit of writing. We're going to write one example of each word and you're going to help me figure out which spelling pattern we need to use. The first word we're going to write is the word farm. Let's stretch it. S R M farm. The first sound I hear is S, so I'll begin with the letter F. The next sound I hear is R. Hmm. What two letters should I use to make the sound R? Well done, I need to use A and R. S, R, M. The last sound is M, so I'll use my M. S, R, M, farm. Now, I want to change the word farm into the word form. This is a little bit tricky, but give it a good think. Farm to form. What would I need to change? Well done, I need to change my R controlled vowel. The R will still be there, of course, but the R that, but the vowel that it's controlling is going to change. So it begins with the same sound, but instead of R, we're now hearing OR. What two letters make OR? Well done, O and R. So our R controlled vowel changed from A to O. Again, it ends in the sound m, so I'll use my m. I changed the a from farm to an o and made it the word form. Let's write one more word. I want to write the word chore. First, let's stretch it. Ch or chore. I only hear two sounds in this word, but I think it'll be more than two letters. The first sound I hear is ch. Hmm, that's a digraph. What digraph says ch? C and H, well done. So I'll begin with the letter C, H. And the next sound I hear is or. Hmm, it's or at the end, and it's not the word for, so it's probably going to be what spelling pattern? O, R, E, very good. So since the OR sound is at the end, we're going to use the O-R-E spelling pattern and we get the word CHORE, CH or CHORE. Well done today. We reviewed three spelling patterns. A-R, R, O-R, OR, and O-R-E, OR. 
All of these are R-controlled vowels. Well done!